Good afternoon. Come on in here. Yep. It's time for tea. And I have my Be Still cup. But I also have my tea bag. I got my hot water. I don't know if you can see the hot heat coming up from it. But I've got my tea bag. I've got my silver spoon and my little cozy. And I'm going to add a scoop of vitamin C to my tea today. One little scoop. There we go. One scoop in my tea for about 10 ounces. And it'll be yummy. Yep, stirring my tea, let it sit for a minute, and then we're going to have a little talk. Yep, tomorrow is the first day of March. Yeah, it is. And it is um, Mikey's birthday, I believe. Liz's little boy, is his birthday is tomorrow. I think he'll be six or seven, I can't remember. How old will Mikey be, Liz? It's time flies when you're having fun. It really does. These babies grow up before you know it and and they are just, yeah, March will be here tomorrow. Today's leap year day. And for those of you who didn't, seven years, <laughs> yeah, I remembered. Seven years old tomorrow. I remember the day he was born. Anyway. Get on in here, and we're going to talk about getting dressed to lace up shoes. Yep, getting dressed to lace up shoes. Because when you're dressed to lace up shoes, you are ready for just about anything. You really are. It's important. It's important to our health. I mean, I just read a testimonial where this lady woke up and she couldn't hardly walk on her foot. And she couldn't hardly walk on her foot because there was a splinter in her foot. Do you know why there was a splinter in her foot? It was because she hadn't been wearing her shoes. She hadn't been getting dressed to lace up shoes. So we have got to, our feet, how our feet go or the rest of our bodies go. If we're, if our feet are tired and they're abused from not wearing shoes, I learned something a while ago. I learned something that if your hands are cracked then, and dry, then it has openings for germs to get in. Same way with your sinuses, same way with any uh, place on your body that is um, an open sore. It is an opening for some, some bad germs to get in your body. And we need to keep our feet. I mean, when I used to go barefoot, my feet were the worst things in the world. Yep. They, um, they were cracked and dry and they hurt. They were painful. They were painful. When I started wearing my shoes every day, biggest benefit from wearing my shoes every day is my feet became soft and no cracks. I got rid of the cracks in my feet because my feet were able to heal. They weren't, if you look at somebody who wears sandals all the time, they have the nastiest feet you've ever seen, even if they're wearing sandals because their feet get cracked and awful. Yep. So, Getting dressed to lace up shoes is going to benefit you in more ways than one. It's going to benefit you more ways than one. This, the tea I'm drinking is our Body Clutter Wise Women's Tea. And it is tea that was based on a book and a, a TED Talk done by Dr., uh, Dr. William Lee. And we just love Dr. Lee. In fact, Ben's doctor is... A Dr. Lee. <laughs> I haven't asked him if he's kin to this Dr. Lee or not, but Lee's a very common, a common name in in China. 
But getting dressed to lace up shoes is going to change your life. Getting dressed first thing in the morning before the flow of the family helps you more than anything. So I got to get some moisture in that. And so I will. There we go. So. You getting up and getting dressed, making that your priority when you first wake up in the morning is to get dressed to look, get dressed to lace up shoes. I keep my clothes laid out in my bathroom at home. At Ben's, I have a chair in my room, which is his office, um, but it turns into my room when I'm there. I have a chair in that room that where I lay my clothes out. I pick my clothes out and lay them on the chair. This makes getting dressed to lace up shoes easy. It's a piece of cake when you know what you're going to wear. It really is. It is a piece of cake. And when something's a piece of cake, we'll do it. My bracelet's making a noise on my desk, so I'm going to put my purple rag there. No use for purple, purple rag. Keep things from... But I know when I grew up barefoot, y'all, I understand what it's like to, to not want to wear shoes. But when I started to wear shoes, and I just got a pair of $6 Keds that I only wore in my house. That's when I, that's when I started. I had something on my lip. I don't know what it is. Anyway, I'm going to take a drink of tea. Everybody drink up. Oh, it tastes lemony. Lemony. That's the beauty of powdered vitamin C. You can get vitamin C in lots of forms. Vitamin C can be in capsule form, in gummy bear form and sweet tart form lots of ways it's ascorbic acid you can buy it in five pound containers like liz has she she makes her her um tea and uses the ascorbic acid in it vitamin c acid in it and it, her family loves it they think they're drinking something really special that she's made for them. and it is it's going to keep them healthy now Getting dressed to lace up shoes is going to change your life. Don't doubt me on this, as Rush would say. Don't doubt me because it changed mine. It really did change my life because I was able to be ready. If my husband called me from the courthouse and said, hey, this is when he was working. He said, hey, honey, you want to you go to lunch with me? I could drop everything I was doing and go to lunch. And and just go to lunch with him because I was dressed, ready to go. If your neighbor calls and needs help, you can run out the door right fast with your shoes on. And it gets rid of excuses. And those excuses are I I can't take I take, can't take the trash out right now because I don't have my shoes on. We just need a little tiny excuse to keep us from doing what needs to be done because we don't have our shoes on. That gives us that little tiny excuse. Well, let's get dressed to lace up shoes. Let's do away with those excuses and let's benefit our feet. You need to take care of your feet. That means trimming your toenails with nail clippers instead of tearing them off it's uh because you don't need to get an infection in your feet because you have less blood flow to your feet so please let's get dressed to lace up shoes every day make it easy on yourself by picking your clothes out for tomorrow yeah, excuses sidetrack us. They really do. Excuses sidetrack us. So please, let's pick our clothes out tonight. 
let's kick off March's habit tonight by picking your clothes. And let me tell you another way you can do it. When you do your laundry, put your outfits together. I do this when I'm going to Ben's. I put together three outfits because I'm usually there three days. I put together three outfits. I take my jeans and roll my shirt and my underwear up in it and put it in my bag. I've got three little bundles in my bag ready to go. It's that easy. And I've done it. I've picked my clothes out as I've done the laundry. You can do this with your kids too. Your children's clothes. Put them together as whole outfits. Put them in their drawer. You can actually put them in, um, if you have the little bags that the, that the purple rags came in. And you know, purple rags are buy one, get one free right now. And I have, I have a little treat for you. Little treat. I can't remember if I told you today. I don't think I have. But we have a special coupon code for today. Yep, it's a leap year code. It's a special coupon code. It's clean, C-L-E-A-N, 25. And guess what? It's a 25% off coupon code. And it works on anything in the fly shop, except for things that are already deeply discounted. You know, purple rag BOGO, it won't work on them, but it'll work on the silver rags because they're not on a BOGO right now. It'll work on the feather duster. It'll work on the feather duster right behind me. Uh, anything in the fly shop, that code will save you 25%. And that's a pretty good deal. This is Justin's idea. He rested all day yesterday. It snowed two inches at his house and he woke up this morning and didn't know it snowed. Now, for a weatherman to be surprised by the weather, he must have been really sick. So, get what you... What you been wanting, this is our new purple mop. This is our extra large mop. Thinking about doing a video with it, but I need a helper to help record it. Because I can't do a video and mop at the same time. I've tried, uh, <laughs> I've tried uh, doing the carpet sweeper. So y'all have a great rest of the day. Make some memories with your family. Do something fun. Do something fun. Somebody says they don't know what to do with the silver rags. Well, you can do anything you can do with the purple rags. Um, I've got the purple rags, but I'm not sure how and what to use them. Use them on everything. Take a purple rag and put some alcohol on it and go wipe down your doorknobs and, and light switches. Go do that. It works on everything. I've got videos on YouTube of me using my silver rags and purple rags on my table outside. That gets really nasty. Purple rags work for, I wash dishes with them. I've been wiping down kitchen cabinets. Now you need to look at all the camera. Y'all are so funny. She's so hyper. It's not even, that won't even work. Um, I've been wiping down one cabinet door every day in my kitchen just just because I get them wet and wipe them down I took a dirty uh, silver rag a while ago and put it down on the floor in front of the refrigerator and got up some spots that we had made yeah plain old rubbing alcohol will work but you know if you got some vodka that'll work too Lysol will work Listerine will work alcohol will work Rubbing alcohol. I've set me up a little display right here where I can grab things so it's not cluttering up my table so much. So I do dishes with these things. All, in fact, I like to do dishes with them while they're still bleeding a little purple. And that helps to bleed the purple out of them. And then I throw a bunch in the washing machine and wash them all up. And I hang them up and let them dry. But if you put them in the dryer, it's okay too. So folks... Lay out your clothes for tomorrow. You'll be glad you did. And since you got church tomorrow morning, pick out what you're going to wear to church right now. And then pick out what you're going to wear when you get home from church to change your clothes. Because you don't need to wear your good clothes 
in the kitchen getting ready for lunch. Change out of your good clothes so you don't feed the girls. Yep. Let's, soap and water will work too to wipe down things. Soap is one of the best germ killers there is. Soap is soap. It works. Well, y'all have a great rest of the day. Check out our podcast on um, Apple iTunes. Are you living in chaos? And we are getting lots of followers on iTunes on our podcast. Yep, a lot of them. So join us for our podcast. You can just listen to our podcast as you're driving, which is wonderful. And we're on Spotify. So those of you who are listening on the podcast right now and you're hearing me tell about the podcast, thank you for listening. I love you all. And I will see you tomorrow afternoon. Uh, It could be later in the day. It really could because um, I've got to go to Knoxville and I also have to do some shooting because we're doing our our, uh, shooting test for our concealed weapons permit tomorrow afternoon. I keep hand sanitizer in my car all the time. I'm looking at comments here. You on iPhone podcast? Yes, I am. Just look for Fly Lady. That's all you gotta do. You look for Fly Lady, or look for Can't Have Anyone Over Syndrome. Send them syndrome. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, but if you get our flight plan this afternoon or tonight, you will see a link to the podcast. I put it. Liz, uh, Liz has put a po- link right here, right now, so you can go subscribe to it right this minute. And I love podcasts on my phone. Sometimes I, I subscribe to the ones I want to hear and I just listen to them over and over again. And this is how you put some good things in your head. Really, it is. I will talk to you tomorrow afternoon. I don't know what time it'll be, but we will, I will be on here. I love you all, and I will see you later.